And believe me, the money doesn't get there. Trust me on that. I, well, I shouldn't say trust me on that. Research that. It is true. Research DynCor for all the trafficking of the... Of, that's how they, they move a lot of this stuff. And they, they traffic children, too, for sex and all sorts of horrible things. And you check out uh, Halliburton, again, still all of these, the same, it's the same players, ladies and gentlemen. And the same thing with this whole thing with, uh, with moving all these, uh, all, all, moving around all these, uh, these influences. They're all connected with the same people. But I'm, I'm digressing again, as I always do. Here are doctors and their comments on vaccines. I'll read a couple and then you can, you know, we'll go through a few of these. This is, uh, this is what they, this is doctors that have really come out, they woke up. Like everybody else, you know, a certain amount of the population is still asleep. A certain amount of population, here's how it is in, in my viewpoint. You've got one class of people that are just totally asleep and you'll never, ever, 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 ever wake them up. So just push them aside. We don't need them. <laughs> it's just because they'll never believe it. They'll, they'll, they, they'll come to take them away to the FEMA camp and give them a shot and they'll be sick and dead in six months before their uh, 66th birthday when they're supposed to collect on uh, uh, Social Security or whatever it is, or they'll target, they'll, they're already targeting drugs for individuals through DNA, and I kid you not. So that means that they're going to make a drug that's suited just for you, just to treat you, just to treat your genetic code. This is like Do Island of Dr. Moreau stuff. This is going to be like, this is mad science. This is not, this is not um, uh, moving forward. This is not, uh, you know, uh, uh, what, what's that word when you move forward? I can't think of it. I got a brain, <laughs> brain freeze here. Uh, this isn't... Um, no, no, moving, no, move, pros, uh, yeah, progress. Well, progress, correct. This isn't progress, okay? It's, it's, it's in further enslavement, and it's coming, and it's coming fast, and that's why I'm so worried about it. So, um, Dr. Uh, Duffy uh, said, uh, uh, he, he, he had a lot of things that he's had to say. You read that part about Dr. Duffy. He was the one who wrote that article about the medical quacks, and he, of course, is not a medical quack. He is calling the, these fraudsters the, cra the, the quacks, the actual fraud and it's murder it's genocide they're putting dead it is attempted murder at very least mm. it's 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 assault uh, what, assault whatever assault or at least they're they're assaulting you another good person if people want to find out more is uh horowitz it's h-o-r-o-w-i-t-z uh real good doctor and he has good videos that you get on youtube of him exposing dr oz I believe is the guy on TV. Uh, a lot of good stuff. I mean, there's a lot of good uh, doctors out there exposing, you know. But they're looked at. They're they're called quacks, and they're called the one. Right. See, you gotta realize they're anything... not gonna have a show. At the main time. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a show. Like stop the vaccines. Let's 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 hit through the main. You just realize that nothing's gonna happen. I mean, that's why music sucks because all the real good music, nobody gets signed. Anyone, they don't want real music. They, they don't want real music. They don't want real talent. They want they want a specific thing, and they'll pick it and choose it, and it's going to be that way. I mean, you're not. It's just something that's harder to 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 realize. But everything is controlled. Your whole world. I mean, this is getting very philosophical. But imagine, from birth to death, they have your life planned, and literally, the world is not real. I mean, David Icke talks about this, and I'm not, he gets a little, it gets a little weird for me, but this, some of his stuff is really a little beyond my grasp, or, or, or his heart's, I, I don't even believe it, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, but, I'll, like, that lizards are controlling all this stuff, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't really, I like David Icke, I, I, I can't put my, I can't wrap my brain around that one, Vince, <laughs> but, but I, but some of the things that he says about this other, um, re reality, what I mean by that is that we're living in this sort of a fishbowl, and this is our world, and this is what we've always known. But there's a whole world. Like if you were a fi like if, you, if, if if let's say the whole humanity was in a fishbowl, and you're in a room, you know, and there's like door that goes outside of the room, but all you see is people coming maybe in and out of the room, but you don't know what's in the other room. You can never see beyond what's ever in that environment through the glass, if there's glass. If there's no glass, then you you only see what's inside the space. And that's how they control the population. So breaking through this, you got to realize uh, that any time that the media or somebody de is demonized for something that has to do with basic human rights or, or, or a choice situation or, or attacking the Constitution and they're looked at as radicals and they call them all this, realize that's because they're being called out as criminals. 
Okay? Call a spade a spade. That's what they are. They're criminals. These criminals have hijacked our government. Now, people like Dr. Duffy, who wrote, who, when you read that his part, excellent. There's so many. Uh, Dr. James Shannon from the National Institute of Health, <laughs> from the National Institute of Health, said the only safe vaccine is a vaccine that is never used. <laughs> I like okay? that one. And I like that one. Okay? The evidence for indicating immunizations for it's SIDS is too. circumstantial but compelling. What? Sorry to cut you off. Mm -hmm. Again, thinking about back in the day, you know, even before our grandparents and this and that, what did human beings do without getting vaccinated? I don't know. What I did guess, people do? Well, the life expectancy was so much less. You see, this is, but this is the big lie. We just, we, we exposed it in the first 10 minutes of the show, is that actually life expectancy is declining, ladies is. and gentlemen, along with fertility, ladies and gentlemen. Your grandparents along, live longer than you. That's right. And, and they were. And they, yeah. And, and, and it is declining, and the same thing with the, with the uh, fertility rates in males, especially. It's sounds like 95% over 30 years. It really is. Um, and uh, you can check these records out. Go to CDC or wherever, uh, medical, uh, any of the, med it's on record. You don't have to, to I think it was the AMA I got that one from. But it's true. And then the fact that radiation definitely reduces testosterone levels. So men that are driving around with cell phones, like you said, in your pocket, you know, you can, and te testicular cancer is on the rise. And all these other things. Uh, are all part of this eugenics program. So we are spinning around this. I told you, it's going to all fit into this eugenics. Now, in these vaccines, these sterilants, polysorbate 80, again, bioaccumulates in your body. You give it to young kids. They're going to have a lower sterility rate. They're going to have less kids. All right, let's go to another doctor. I want you to read a couple of doctors. Um, we had... Uh, the greatest threat of childhood diseases lies in the dangerous and ineffectual efforts made to prevent them through mass immunization. There is no convincing scientific evidence that mass inoculations can be credited with eliminating any childhood disease. It doesn't. These, these, they treat, but it's not even treating, it's hurting. There is no, it doesn't help. And that's Dr. Robert Mendelssohn, MD. Okay? Not OD or anyone else that you would try to discredit. Like, like, how could you discredit the last guy? I mean, he was from the National Institute of uh, uh, Medicine, right? Yeah, National Institute of Medicine. So, you know, come on. These people are credible people, and you call, they call them quacks? It's the other way around, ladies and gentlemen. We're being, we're being manipulated. We're being duped, you know? Uh, I think that no person would permit anybody to get close to them with an inoculation if they would really know how they are made, what they carry, what has been lied to them about, and what the real dan percent of danger is of contracting such a disease, which is minimal. Absolutely. Again, uh, I think of uh, South Park, who does a lot of uh, funny messages about mm -hmm. things, and it was about uh, the swine flu, I believe. And they were doing the thing, oh my God, I only have a 99.8% chance of living. You know, uh, <laughs> the odds of dying from these things are very low. Are yeah. very low. Or even getting very sick. You know, maybe it's a really older person or an infant that would die from, you know, most of these things would not affect you. you maybe know, you'd be sick for a day. Or more two. people lose, see, in this treadmill that we call the, 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 the controlled aquarium environment, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, these people that work and they're like they're workaholics and if they sick they still, or they have no choice and they're sick they go to work and all that that causes more sickness illness loss of work loss of pay and hospital visits than any of these diseases combined absolutely factual so when you're sick and you go to work you actually infect and get people sick around you and then they get people sick and that's that's actually and that's just that's just because when you're sick you should be home and you should rest and you should just that's that's the cure for, for this, but no, because the corporate Borg has to control everything and everyone's got to keep moving. I mean, let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, think about your boss, think about where you work, think about your life. I mean, it's just, it's always more, 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 and they never give you anything back, always want more, 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 more effort, more this, more that. Um, it, it is really true. It is just the fact that that's the way the system works. And if you're an individualist, you don't have to be part of that system. You can start your own business, and you can do what you want, 
if you have the means or if you have the ability to get the means through financing or something. But they're making that, it, it's impossible. To start a business today is, is virtually impossible for a small person that doesn't have a lot of venture capital because they make the hoops impossible. They don't want the individual. They want you to be part of this corporate board. They want you to be... Jump through the hoops. They oh, want you to be... Zombie or... No, it'd be a slave. Because <laughs> you keep saying slave. I like that, slave. I mean, we are slaves. I think even if you make 100 grand, you're a slave because you're, you're a slave to this system. Uh, and you're being murdered, so you you know your rights are being taken away in front of your eyes with with bills that they pass and stealthily uh, with with other uh, violations of literally criminal violations, you know assaults, you know like physical harm, uh, killing you over time, soft killing you, slow killing you. All right. Then we have that was Dr. Sneed, by the Dr. way. Eva, Eva Sneed, Sneed was what she, that was her send. So she's saying that it's the same thing that you know yeah. these diseases are minimal chance you're gonna get them, but let well, everyone take it. Yeah. Uh, this is a good one, Dr. Glenn Deepman. It is pathetic and ludicrous to say we ever vanquished smallpox with vaccines when only 10 percent of the population was ever vaccinated. Very good point. You see, that's the truth. You see, history has a way of evolving itself into this lie that is in concert with the agenda of the elite who again they literally you know it's not like the winners right of the wars write the history books nah -uh. because let's face it the the elite like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers backed both sides of the wars so you know it's like on both sides. so they tell you the story you know whatever you know if you read the books that are Rita Zelvier publishes hardcore books history books math books textbooks world uh, events, uh, they use mathematics, they use things like this. They, they give you mind control in their books. Oh, I gotta tell you this, two minutes. Here's a digression, I, this is important. My son's books, his math equations are something like this. I'll give you an example, to sh and then you, you, you try to decipher what, this, what the message is. A plane traveling at 575 miles an hour zooms across and slams into the World Trade Center after leaving at 8.45, at 8.15, and crashes at 8.45. How many uh, miles did it travel? You know, that kind of stuff. In other words, so it's giving you a message that you believe. And it's, it really does, and it uses historical events. I'm not, I kid you not. This is from a hardcore book, Math for 7th Grade. Um, and they use these these examples like that with putting in a subtext that is that becomes part of your brain that you're accepting this information as mathematics. It's insidious. Sorry for the digression, but no, that's, that's unbelievable, right? Yeah. I, and if it, you look at the book, it really, I mean, I, I did a whole segment on it. My son actually read you, from the book. It makes me think of when I was younger, way before 9/11 or anything. I used to sit there and look at my books, you know, down in the Bronx. Uh, you know, I'd look at a, a history book. Here it is, I'm in New York, and these books were made in Britain. And I'm like, <laughs> why is my American history book made in Britain? You because know? it's a Rita Zelda owning <laughs> car. That's why. You know, so. it's, because the, it's because it's the Anglo-American Empire. That's what it is. And, and nowhere in history does it say that the, the, that, uh, the Rockefellers and the J.P. Morgan banks uh, bankrolled the Bolshevik Revolution. The Rothschilds and the Rockefellers did that on record. You they can read talk it. about Bush's grandfather Bush with Hitler. With Hitler. And Hitler. IG Farben and IBM. IBM, <laughs> IBM and the Union Bank. Yeah, I, Prescott Bush was the head. Was uh, on the board of the directors of the Union Bank, and they had got caught with actually got in trouble. They got in caught with uh, trading having with trading Act. with the Enemy Act. Oh my God! And over and over again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the fact that Prescott Bush and founded the CIA, uh, you know, was, was from the OSS, transformed it, uh, and then it led to the hideous Dr. Uh, Dr. Cameron, who is like like the mental Mengele, Dr. Ewan Cameron, and his experiments at the Allen Institute. Uh, in Montreal, uh, which is where the CIA had their first headquarters. By the way, it wasn't even on American soil. 